Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today is the first little dev update in the Steam Early Access version of the game. So I thought, let's make it a bit more fancy than usual and add topics to the discussion. Which you can jump in between uh, by using the tags in the description. So let's get started with topic 1. We just pushed out a pretty big patch on Steam with various UI fixes and bug fixes of course as well. And uh, the uh, former includes some layout changes on the, uh, for instance, uh, break, was it break tab? I think so. Break tab, uh, aerodynamics tab, interior tab, and that good stuff. Instead of having like these vertical labels, uh, which were pretty hard to read. We have exchanged them with proper text on top and then just a few chrome bars which saves us a bit of space. That space is not put to use just yet but we will be polishing up that a bit further um, before we move on to greater deeds. Also what is still missing there are tooltips for the quality sliders and we have in this patch added plenty of other slider tooltips and that should be giving you quite a bit of good information now. Also we have made tooltips in general more readable and that should help as well. On the bug fix side of things some pretty important stuff such as uh, the uh, gearbox bug which kind of freaked out 7 and 8 gear ratios that that wasn't very pleasant. Also we have added a new body for you to play with and that would be a 70s mini car. That one definitely has a uh, low area of attack for the wind but on the other hand it just looks like a tiny garage so might not be that aerodynamically efficient. Would be an interesting thing to have a few races with these though. Alright so next topic coming up the second topic of today's little dev update is to give you an overview of what is to come during the next few weeks of development and for this I have prepared a little flow, the development flow and we're going to take a look at it. So what is going to happen here? Uh, well this one you already know. We have launched on Steam on the 12th and that went pretty well. There were a few minor catastrophes that were avoided quickly and one of them was that existing customers weren't able to convert their keys to Steam. Fortunately that didn't uh, take longer than 20 minutes to fix. Uh, also another one which is a pretty bad one. Uh, you have probably heard about this before like people downloading the game and then completely unable to play it because there were files missing. Yes that was fixed within 10 minutes. So no catastrophes happened there. Uh, it was really good luck that we found all the issues that quickly though. There were quite a few bugs. We have gotten rid of most of them. Uh, like the, the most severe ones at least. I'm not saying that this is bug free. Far from it. But it's playable at least for most people. And the large majority of people. But we are continuing to fix bugs. As you can see here bug fixing and polishing is what we are doing right now. And that has led to a Steam patch. Um, because we don't want to patch the standalone version all the time, we are going to wait a bit with this one until we have a few more fixes in and start of next week, like Monday, Tuesday-ish, we are going to release the standalone version, which includes all the good stuff from the Steam version. In the meantime, Andrew is working on uh, fixing up the tutorial videos. Uh, most of them are still very unfinished, as you have seen. Um, and some car bodies here and there, which you have seen also in today's patch. We had this little mini 70s body. And that all in all will lead to a kind of final Steam uh, bug fixing polishing update uh, which is right now about one week away maybe end of next week we will be seeing this one and that should include most of the polishing and stuff and uh, concludes the uh, this first little phase. What we are moving into then should be pretty exhilarating to quite a few of you because 
First of all, Steamworks integration. Caswell is going to work on that, as well as um, the variant workflow update. And that will mean that you can, for example, uh, with, within the same model, build a wagon and a, uh, a normal, normal sedan uh, style body. And you will be able to change fixtures for these as well. Uh, so this is only temporary what you're seeing right now. This will definitely change and you will have all the possibilities to change your models around, uh, or the trims around as you desire. All right, so the exciting one though for many of you, the V6 engines. We did get sounds for the V6 engines and that is kind of what is, what is blocking us from the others right now. We don't have the sounds yet. So uh, this one will probably with the assets we have will take two to three weeks to make. So then we will have a little content update for you on Steam, which includes the workshop integration, the new final flow, and the V6 engines, and probably some more bug fixing and UI polishing, of course. And once that is done, we are going to move into the future. And the future is, of course, um, getting multiplayer ready. That includes the first little tycoon bits. And what we are going to focus on there is, first of all, before we go into any other tycoon bit at all, is the buyer demographics. We want to have a solid model for how your buy for how buyers choose cars. And for that, we will have a little evaluation which uses all the all the code for for the buyer dy dynamics and stuff. Uh, already implemented in the car designer. Probably like a uh, on the final testing page of the car, you will have a complete separate page like the test track, but for how nice this car is for different demographics. And yes, multiplayer will be uh, really interesting as well, but this might take a while and that's why I don't have any kind of date there yet. We will see um, more stuff when we get there and that will be in four to five weeks when we start it. I've already started prototyping a bit of the calculations but yep, more to come, more info to come as well. So I hope you enjoyed this little a new um, update style, uh, a bit more polished. So if you like the higher production value, please thumbs up and uh, see you guys next time.